A Target 7 investigation into a New Mexico agency charged with protecting children and a boy beaten to death while under their care. Well, the governor gave a statement to KOET about how she has worked to reform COAFD over the years. That's right. After we aired the statement, an advocacy group came forward saying part of it was untrue. Target 7's John Cardinelli has the details. New Mexico Child First Network says a statement the governor gave us is false, so we broke it down line by line to fact check her claims, and this is what we found. A scorching summer day in northwest Albuquerque. Honk the horn. Doesn't stop Marilyn Beck from playing with her niece. Do you want to blow the bubbles? But Beck's love for children. I want every child to be this happy. Is something she has devoted her life to. Beck is the executive director of New Mexico Child First Network. This will be a 12 hour day specifically focused on the research of this work. She founded the organization back in 2018 to improve the lives of children in foster care. When I saw your report, I felt extremely frustrated. Beck is referring to a statement the governor sent KOAT in this report that aired on June 8th. Governor Lujan Grisham created the Office of Children's Rights to advocate on behalf of children and youth in care. The report centered around what each candidate for governor will do to reform CYFD. It's devastating because so much of it is just patently incorrect. In the original statement coming from the governor's campaign, it said in part, quote, the Lujan Grisham administration also strengthened the Substitute Care Advisory Council, end quote. SB 242 would have strengthened the Substitute Care Advisory Council, and it actually passed both the House and the Senate unanimously. SB 242 was introduced during the 2021 legislative session. According to the New Mexico legislature website, it did pass unanimously in both the House and Senate. The bill would have provided submission, review, and resolution of grievances against CYFD pertaining to substitute care. Unfortunately, when it went to the governor's office, she vetoed it. And on April 9, 2021, the governor signed this letter, vetoing the bill Beck says was made to help the Substitute Care Advisory Council. In the letter, the governor says she vetoed it because, quote, New Mexico's Native American community's leadership was not consulted regarding SB 242. Target 7 found the website for the Substitute Advisory Council has this message at the bottom of their website claiming the governor did not support them when she vetoed SB 242. We asked the governor's campaign why she vetoed the bill, and they referred us back to the letter. They also sent us a statement saying in part, the governor signed legislation, HB 46, to establish an independent office to provide legal representation and advocacy directly for families. Every step of the way, Governor Lujan Grisham prioritized putting children, parents, and families first and continues to lead by building consensus and delivering results for New Mexico. It's hurtful to see where some of our kids are. Beck says she will continue her work advocating for New Mexico's children. Living in New Mexico, we're so used to saying like, oh, we can't talk about it's confidential, we can't talk about it's confidential. But Beck says the only way to fix current problems in the system is to talk about them. This is a public health crisis. It needs attention. HB 46 was a bill signed during the 2022 session. It aims to create the Office of Family Representation and Advocacy. The office will operate independently as an adjunct agency in the executive branch of government and an appointed commission will oversee it. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. Members of the Office of Family Representation and Advocacy will be appointed by the governor, Supreme Court and lawmakers.